Lust Cove is an all cutie BIPOC sex work collective, but also a burlesque collective and other types of sensual performance art. A lot of people sort of label it as a burlesque collective, but that isn't true to our roots because it was founded by three sex workers, so we think it's really important to highlight that too. It's called a slutty variety show. I think that's what you should expect. So it actually started during the pandemic. A lot of us were working in clubs or we were doing other kinds of work and then, you know, with everything closing, we couldn't really do much. So we decided to create a virtual platform to sort of perform and it also helped a lot of people, you know, who were really bored during the pandemic and wanted to create community. So they had this sort of virtual space where we can sort of just show our performances. We're also sick of how white a lot of performance scenes are and how fat phobic they are as well and also just ableist and all the isms basically. So we're just like, you know what, fuck that. You're not gonna give us space to perform. So we're just gonna make one ourselves. <laughs> We don't have a lot of the pressures that you'll see in other performance scenes where it's like you need to wear things that are like $500 or else you look like trash or you need to be quote unquote extremely talented, extremely skilled. A lot of us are just doing it because we enjoy it too. So I think it's, it's really nice to not feel that sort of pressure to also conform to certain standards. I think we all just feel a lot safer in general and we feel represented too and I don't know, the crowds are just a lot better, okay? Like the energy is like up here. <laughs> I find like a lot of people see themselves in like a lot of our performers too and they don't get to see that representation a lot. We're also really open to anyone who wants to get started and wants to join our troupe. So if you come to a show and you feel inspired and you're a cutie BIPOC performer, like we don't X people from that. It's really a space where people can come and learn too and they get to perform and we're not like, oh, you don't fit this great. No, it's not like that. Lunar New Year theme show. So it's gonna be actually an all Asian or Asian cast, I should say. <laughs> uh, so I'm really excited for that one. And we're also founded, three of us are Asian sex workers, you know, so we kind of wanted to just have a, a special show for Lunar New Year. It feels good to be supporting this kind of event. I think that Montreal has such a great scene for this and has some really special people and a lot of amazing talent. I'm gonna be playing three songs. It's a lot of very emotional music. It's very raw and uh, I'm gonna, they're all gonna be originals. The first song that I wrote, um, I'm gonna be sharing it for the first time. The other two songs will be also um, originals that I love playing and who knows, maybe I'll play another song that I write between now and Friday. <laughs> Music really saved me. It really encouraged me to become the best version of myself. So I'm really honored to be part of a show like this. My performance is gonna be a go-go set. Preparing for this show has mostly been exploring movement, like choosing music that like I'm very excited to dance to that makes me want to dance that I think like would get the audience pumped up, all of that. Go Go doesn't require choreography, so it's like improv. It's been kind of a dream to like be able to have my first performance be with an entirely queer and BIPOC sensual troupe. There's often spaces for queer people and spaces for BIPOC people, and that intersection is like, and tons of people live at that intersection but like there's not always the spaces and so to be part of that space is beautiful.